Hey fellow Backyard Boyers, Nick here. And today I wanted to show you something. Now, I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, what happens when PVC pipe breaks. And one of the general, I guess you could call it a misconception of PVC pipe, is that it's incredibly brittle and that it's not flexible. When you're dealing with PVC pipe, most people get that uh, that perception because when you start with a full round pipe and you bend it, it's almost like taking a, a stick, like a dowel, and trying to bend it straight in the middle, and it's going to break. The reason that is is because you're putting a lot of stress in one area. And you can make PVC bows like that, and they'll work, which is actually a testament to PVC's flexibility. Now, what happens when you flatten PVC is the chances of it breaking are very low. Now, the main places where it could break are right here in the handle. And that's mainly because what will happen is when you've got your flattening jig, if this is a sharp crease, the bow is probably going to break right here. Another reason why a bow may break is that if there are any burns or spots where the pipe has been actually melted, it will be more brittle there, more likely to snap or shatter. What usually happens, as long as your pipe hasn't been out in the sun too long, and by too long I mean if your pipe is older than two years, I wouldn't use it to make a boat, just because most places store their pipe in the sun, or at some point in that pipe's life, it was probably out in a field somewhere in a you know, in storage, because when they manufacture PVC pipes, the expectation is that, you know, UV damage doesn't become a big problem until after about two years. And even then, for underground applications, you can leave the pipe out even longer than that and sell it, and it still has its structural integrity. For our intensive purposes, you want a fairly new pipe. I like to use pipe that's less than a year old. Now that said, one of the most common failures in PVC pipe is a collapse. And this is completely fixable, so I'm going to show you today. I'm going to take this bow, and I'm going to draw it until it collapses, and then I'm going to fix it for you guys. So here we go. There you go. So this is what a collapse looks like. It's exactly what it sounds. What happened is this part of the pipe couldn't take it anymore. It buckled and so the pipe just folded. That's what I like about PVC pipe because if this had happened with a wood or a fiberglass bow, this bow would have been in pieces right now. And I probably drew it. I don't know how far I drew it. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention. But so this is what the bow looks like now. So now we're going to go fix it and it's really simple. If you've already got spray paint on your bow, you can still fix it, just be careful. Uh, if you've got another type of finish or you've got cloth on here, you're probably going to have to take the cloth off. But I'll show you how to fix this. What we're going to do is we're going to take our pipe here. You can see this is the collapsed area. We're going to turn on our heat gun and we're going to gently heat this area. Very gently you want to heat this entire area so that what will happen is that the pipe will puff back. I'm going to show you what I mean. I keep talking in my comments, I know, let the pipe puff up. and You know, you shouldn't have to press the sides to get it to form back. Just let it do it on its own. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay, once it's puffed up, you see it's pretty much come back. 
it's just got a little bit of a dimple here. You just want to let that stay out here for a little bit off of the heat. And there you go. You see how it's actually come back and puffed up. So now you're just going to have to apply just a little bit of pressure. Now, the reason why this bow failed is because I was just pulling it way too far. But normally, when you encounter some of the, something like this and you're pulling the bow to full draw, the reason why it's breaking is because this is a weak point. You can compensate for that by when we puff it up, as you can see here, it's actually thicker than it used to be. So you just need to sight down the bow, make sure it lines up still. But you want this section here to be a little bit thicker. Now not too thick, because if it's too thick then the spot next to it's going to fail because this is too strong. But if it's a little thicker it'll compensate and it'll usually strengthen this enough so that it won't happen again. All right. We'll just let this cool off and then I'll go ahead and I'll string it up and I'll shoot this bow for you guys and basically show you that this this repair is good. You know, I've had bows collapse on me, especially the ones where I'm trying to get more speed or I'm trying to make them you know pull further. Like if you remember that bow I had with the nine inches of reflex, that bow collapsed at least six times on me. And every time I simply heated it back up and it was good as new. With that said, you know, PVC pipe, I like the fact that you can actually fix something like this that easily. Because, you know, Wood and fiberglass bows at this length are not nearly as forgiving. That's one thing I like about the PVC. It may not be blazing fast, but from everything I've done with it, it's very safe. Not to say that you should push it, you shouldn't. If I were doing if I had a bow like this in one inch pipe, it could have snapped rather than folded on me. It probably would have folded first. But at this length, under that much stress, you never know. So let's go shoot it out. Hey guys, so here's the boat. As you can see, this is the portion that collapsed and we fixed it. So I'm going to shoot it for you guys. There you go, and I predict that this bow, as long as I keep it within its draw length, will have a nice long life. So there you go. Thanks for watching, and I'll try and put up more bow failure videos and how to fix those problems later. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to show you what happens when it collapses. Thank you.